Hey guys, and welcome back. Today, we're on BC Ferries. BC Ferries is the company along the coast of Canada, of Lower Mainland Canada, that connects basically the islands to the mainland. It is the biggest ferry service in the world, and I have been taking them since I was about six years old. Now you can either, can either drive on or you can walk on, which is a cheaper option, and that is what I have done today. Let's jump back to the beginning of the trip where I am going to give you all my tips and tricks of uh, taking these ferries. Look at this. It's way too big. So obviously the journey begins at BC Ferries. Now I'm walking on today, not driving on. There's going to be another opportunity where I am going to be driving on and I will be filming that so you will be able to see how that all goes. So we're here in Victoria at the passenger departures and arrival station. There's a lineup already and I got here an hour early. So summer crowds for you. So you have the option to either pay at the self-checkout or you can pay at the counter with the person. I want to pay with cash so I have to pay at the counter. I just paid, got my Ticket. This is a very important ticket. You must hang on to it. You need this in order to get onto the ferry. So, um, ticket cost eighteen dollars and forty-five cents. Now, the lady at the counter, which is something I never encountered before, was said I can't film inside the building. So, I am outside the building filming. It sort of works out anyway that we didn't want to sit in um, that big waiting room anyway. We wanted to come outside. I'm going to show you to skip the line. Once you check in, you saw where I came out on the balcony. You go down the stairs exit the little sitting area and you come around to basically underneath the terminals where all the um, staff enter. Now this is a cheeky little hack generally only for bikers, people with dogs um, and stuff like that but you'll see a lot of locals doing this too and uh, it basically bypasses you the entire lineup upstairs. come on through the bottom there's no access until the end of the uh, ferry ride. If you come through the bottom you become one of the first people on ferry. Every time. I'm gonna look for coffee because I'm tired and uh, yeah coffee at 5 p.m. You know I make good life choices here and because I'm the first one on I can actually go to the line and it's gonna be okay. Notes on that later. Please let a crew member know so we can help. Don't forget, you're on a ship that can sometimes move unexpectedly. So please take care and use handrails and watch for high door sills. Be careful on outer decks that may be wet and watch out for small winds that could not. It's going to be shaky for the next little bit because I am sitting basically on top of the propellers. I just wanted a moment to take my backpack off and have a sip of coffee. Noted, um, the hot water and coffee here is like extra hot. I mean, Starbucks doesn't know what extra hot is until they try this. And I'm not even joking. It's like hot. So um, be warned if you decide you want some tea before these berries. Oh, there he is. Yeah, right there. Right there. So the current deck I'm on is called Deck 4. It's one of two of the car decks. The lower deck, the deck that we entered on that I completely didn't film, is closed throughout the sailing, so you're not allowed to go down there, but this deck you're welcome to. And this is the deck that has a dog area, so if you have a pet, you're welcome to go into this designated pet area space. Do be warned, if you're one of these people, or these people, 
we don't like you. Also, every ferry ride, there's always at least one person that leaves their car running on the ferry. I'm gonna tell you this right now, that is not allowed. When you get onto the ferry, turn your car off. Going back upstairs, this ferry is, is the biggest of all the BC ferries. It's outfitted with a gift shop and has business workstations. There's an arcade, ATMs, washrooms, as well as family washrooms, kids' play area. Of course, you saw the cafeteria. They do also have a cafe downstairs. However, due to COVID, they pretty much kept it closed. Let's say you're walking on and you didn't want to take public transport. There is a Greyhound. It costs around $20 and it takes you um, right downtown. And of course, there's just ample seating ample seating everywhere and also go outside and hang out on the deck now while we're outside i'm going to tell you about my favorite little bc fairies blunder that happened a few years ago so back in 2015 they got this idea to have a public contest so the public could name the fairy of course this utterly backfired in the most hilarious way I'm going to read to you some of the names that were submitted. Just, just hear me out. Spirit of the Wallet Sucker, Queen of No Other Choice, SS Should Have Been a Bridge, <laughs> The Queen of Your Visa, Coastal Why Do You Need a Freaking Gift Shop, You're a Fairy. <laughs> when I saw this, I, it's, it sat with me for the longest time and it gets me every, every time, every time. There's a similar story in the UK where they were naming a boat and the final choice for that boat name was Bodie McBoat Boat or something like that and it just reminded me of that of just like it just it utterly backfired and those names are pretty on point because a this is a really pricey ferry and the fares have done nothing but go up it gave me a bit of a laugh and I thought I'd share that one with you because it's just it was just it's just too funny from the basement. There is a causeway and a proper way to exit, but again, the lineups get so big um, that by the time you get to the bus, you're basically standing, so. Basically, once they lower the bridge and they remove the gate, you're welcome to walk off before they let any cars off or on. And uh, if you hustle fast enough the way to the arrivals building, you go through the gate and voila, you, majority of the time you will be at the front of the line. I am sure my hair looks beautiful right now. Anyway. That was BC Fairies for you, everybody. Um, also, I feel like something I didn't say was... Ah, yes. BC Fairies is getting a lot busier. Generally, it's only sailing every two hours. In the summertime, they go up to every one hour because they're so busy. So having said that, get here, either get here early, like early, like two hours before your fairy, the fairy you want to catch, or uh, get a reservation. Majority of reservations are sold out throughout the summer, so get in now. Book, if you know when you're going, book in advance to guarantee you that spot. I'm hoping one day maybe that they can have like a like a locals only line. So like if you have proof that you're from Vancouver Island, you pay like a yearly fee, but you get to go in the line of like locals only and you get to get on earlier than everybody else. It's food for thought, BC Fairies. Food for thought. Anyway, that was a stellar ferry ride. It actually wasn't too busy. Um, I will actually be taking the ferry from from Port Hardy to Prince Rupert in about uh, three weeks here, and I'll be making a video on that. And that's not an hour and a half ferry ride. That's a 15-hour ferry ride. If you want to see more of that, please hit that subscribe button. I am so close to a thousand subscribers. I <sighs> like 150 people away and all those that are longtime viewers and have been here since the beginning or the midway or you've just arrived I can't tell you how much it means to me to like see those comments and seeing people show up every week and ah, I can't it just I get really excited and it makes me really really happy that um, you know people want to be here and so I uh, thank you and I appreciate you so so much so um, having said that I will uh, see you next week Queen of the overpriced, 
queen of no other choice. Queen of cash cow. The Christy Clark arc. Incompetence afloat. The coastal fair hike. The royal dock sitter. Queen of infinite fair increases. <laughs> I left my fan vent thing open because when it gets humid out, my CO2 alarm likes to go off. That's just the excuse I'm giving for forgetting. Um, but yeah, because it was left open and it's been raining, there's water there in my floor. It's great. It's fine. It could be worse. It could be a lot worse.